Hi, uh, this video is exactly what you think it is because I promised you a specific video and I just broke a string. So we're doing said video. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Pretty much broke my E string just like 10 seconds ago. So we're going, I'm going to show you how I personally set up my Floyd Rose FRX bridge. Now, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take off my, okay. You're, you're being a bitch. Okay. All right, I'm going to do a few things because I also got to not only clean it, but I also got to fix that. So uh, bear with me. This video is going to be all over the place. I'm probably more than likely I'm going to jump around intentionally, not showing you exactly how I'm going to do a few things, but I'm going to show you how I put strings in my bridge, tune it, lock it down, and yeah. Then clean it. First, I'm gonna probably fix the. Oh, I'll show you. Uh, my string of choice are the slash signature uh, Ernie Ball power slinkies, which are just this. Um, all of my Les Pauls have these strings. They are perfect for them. And yeah, boom. Let's tear this. Take these strings off. And oh, my tools, Ernie Ball. It's just the cheap one, you know, uh, tuner. I also got cutters for obvious reasons. Got a Gibson uh, tool because I am going to need it to take that down and then tune these properly. So yeah, it's, this is going to be an interesting video. And I'm sorry if it's all over the place. Probably should have said that at the beginning, but I don't want this too long. And I definitely don't want all of you just getting bored because I promised this video and I want to do it this this way till you know, I'm more professional in filming and editing. Oops, let's do this. Now, for locking nuts, you need an Allen key and seeing so. Got my Gibson. Tell. Works just fine. My camera holding abilities are garbage. But we're going to... I'm gonna see. So, yeah. Take these. Some down here. God, you took it. Next, I'm gonna have to. Do I have the right? Is that the right one? Hold up, hold up. Mind the mess in the background. Don't mind the mess. I, I gotta be sure this is the right. Tis is. Tis. Does sides. Sides. That. Gotta get that. That sliver out. Unless that snapped. Oh, it's right there. Oh, you. F okay, got it. Oh, where'd it go? Okay, it's right there. Oh, one more thing. In case you don't know what these are, these are graphite blocks that hold strings in place. As you can see, it holds them in place. This is to lock them down, and in turn, it stays. And this is how you traditionally tune a Floyd Rose system. I'm not sure on Kaler's, but a Floyd Rose, this is how I tune this system. Sometimes I'll go to the traditional tuning pegs, but not all the time. I prefer these because especially if I want to fuck around, I'll do that. So, yeah. These strings are freaking aggressive. Oh, I just got slapped and I didn't get it on camera because I'm a bad YouTuber. Oh, shit. That's not even loosened. Loose! Loose! Oh, I just about lost that graphite block. You. I lost it. Great. Found it. Okay, let's put it back. There is a notch. I don't know if you can see that. Focus, 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 focus. Like my pinky ring? Get it at simonclothing.com. Link in the description. See that little hole? If you can see that little hole. Yeah, there's a... That's part of the little... 
it's part of that black thing that like i said it screws in there it holds it that hole goes into that so yeah bad explaining things i'm sorry i'm always bad at explaining i really got to take this apart now so i'm going to uh jump cut into a different part so i'm gonna figure out how to get this down and i'll see you in like 10 minutes maybe hopefully not 10 minutes that is some fucking dirty ass shit. all right see you soon so pretty much i'm going to do something different i'm going to take the strings off oh son of a whore i'm gonna take the strings off clean them and then yeah i'm gonna clean the guitar and show you how i clean my guitar i gotta find all them graphite blocks now i found two son of a bitch you have one, two, you slag. You in the fucking guitar? You fucking twat. I hear you. I hear you jiggling. Where are you? Good thing I have a bunch of spare parts. All right, we'll figure this. Okay, so I know what this is gonna look like. Um, for cleaning materials, I've got some Gibson stuff, but I'll, I'm only gonna use a few of them uh, because of me purchasing some Dunlop fingerboard oil. That way, uh, this also comes with a sponge or some form of spongy material on top, and that will significantly help me get the fingerboard and the frets all nice and conditioned primarily the fingerboard i don't think the frets need it but i do need to file down some of the frets which i might end up doing later but the reason i'm using this and not the gibson one that's in that kit is because i really messed up the uh lock system because it, it's a childproof lock on it which i mean i understand it but it's also idiot proof and i'm an idiot and i can't get into it without breaking it and i've already broke it once <laughs> And then I couldn't shut it. And then when I got it to shut, now I can't get it to open. So I'm an idiot. <laughs> Hence this. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'm going to get my my air gun and I'm going to brush off from this douche quick. All right. Let's down some of this i really got a free going there's some dents in this all right there we go. <laughs> all right let's let's do the fingerboard first shall we this is what i was talking about it's like a spongy material i don't know if i have to take that out or not hold on i guess we'll find out is it working? Is it working? I can't tell. I can't. I can't. I can't is it, do I have to squeeze on it? That is not working. All right. Now it's working. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this on all the frets. That way I show you what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do all of them. And then I'm going to jump to the body. Or I could just do this. Because I want to be sure I want to do... I. Pfft. I want to be sure I do this right. And complete and total concentration. Wouldn't hurt to file down, not file down, but sand down. Not sand. Not sand. Get the frets down on the corners a little bit. Although the edge of the fingerboard would be really helpful, especially on the playing side because I'm right-handed. And uh, I hate getting snagged on the frets. Which, if you don't know what the frets are, it's the metal things. It's it's these things. It, the, these things right here are called frets. These are not frets. This is not Guitar Hero, you freaking weeb. Oh, look at the mother, the dot inlays. I like them. They're pearl dot. So, yeah. Pretty much just go in a swirly motion. That's how I clean. Not every guitar, the, not every guitar player does this. I'm well aware. I'm different for a reason. I take pride in my instruments. I take good care of them. They're always nice, shiny. 
Sometimes it's super dusty, but that's because... I have no excuse for why they're dusty, but that's, the, that's besides the point. I take good care of them. Hence why I have... The reason I bought this is for the guitars. To keep the dust off them for when I'm playing them. Because I would... <laughs> I would keep them in their case, but then it's like... Why are my why are they in their case? Because if I want to play them, like pick them up and just like play them, I can't throw in their case. Cause I gotta find the case. Anywho, that's my problem. Another reason I have this is just for stuff like this. If I don't want to wait like the time recommended to do this, I will just. I'll just do that and then. Hopefully it kickstarts that drying process. Oh, I have to puke. Moving on to the body. Now, the body, I have to get special stuff out. Probably should do this before. But if you've been on this channel long enough, you'll know that I'm not very good at being a YouTuber. That's fingerboard conditioner. I don't need you. You are what I need. What are you? Metal cleaner. That actually I'm going to need. And then the guitar polishing cream. I, where is the step? What in the f Okay. Anywho, we're going to just jump right into cleaning the metal, which I'm going to tighten up the blocks on here. That way I can successfully clean this because there are some spots on here that are uh, covered in my sweat and look disgusting and grubby. And I would like to clean that and also clean up some of the rest of the guitar that has metal bits. I want to clean up. I really need to clean up the tuners because you can, I play, before I put uh, the Floyd, the FRX system, who in the, I don't care. I'm busy. Anywho, uh, before I put on the Floyd, this FRX bridge system, uh, I played this quite a bit because uh, this is my very first Les Paul. Granted, it was, it's probably the cheapest Les Paul I own. It is the less cheapest Les Paul I own. And it's going to continue to be the cheapest because I am officially done buying guitars. I don't need any more. There is one I do want, but I don't know how to buy it because it's in Italy. And I, like I said, I don't know how to buy it. But once I do, that will be the final guitar. But until that time, I, all I need is these. I'm probably going to sell my telly for a new one because I don't want that telly. I want a Jim Root telly. But that's besides the point. Now, I'm going to see if I can lower the action on my bridge. Because uh, it sits. Oh, shit. I just stuck my fucking sleeve. God. All right. Whatever. Moving on. Oh, I want to. As you, I, fix, I fix that. As you can tell, I would like my action not too low, but not too high either. If that makes sense. I, I don't. Where's my tool? I don't want it like, like that. I, I want it where I can have my strings, not over the humbucker, not like touching it because that then I that's unplayable. But I don't want it too low either. But Or I don't want it too low and I don't want it too high. And this is the most difficult part about having this type of bridge system, in my opinion. <sighs> so we're going to figure that out. I'm hoping I grabbed the right. No. Oh, that's a fu <laughs> that's a Phillips bit. The hell, dude. I'm not. I'm freaking sober in doing this, and this is the most difficult. <sighs> you can tell I don't have sex very often because I'm terrible at getting it in. <laughs> Oh, it's on a slant too. So this is great. I gotta fix, fix, gotta fix, gotta hold up. Oh, you son of a bitch. 
I'm not gonna know until I put a string on you. Ooh, ooh, something's wrong. Something is horribly fucking wrong here. Because it's supposed to be like that, but it's not. It's sitting like this. Why are you like that? Do I have to, do I have to raise these up? Okay, hold up. That better? Yeah, that should be better. Okay, I'm gonna lock these in and we're gonna see. I got my action right where I want it. Got everything situated. Now, let me tell you how this works. Like I said, traditional, I think it was the last video. Uh, this just sits on top, as you can tell. So I don't have to route out the springs and everything else, the block for this. As you can tell, that spring goes back like that. So when you're dive bombing, that's pretty much all you need to do. And yeah, it can go, you fucking bitch. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't recommend having it go back like that. I also gotta fix this. Okay, so video is gonna probably be like 45 minutes to an hour. And I don't want it to be, but it's more than likely going to be because I'm a difficult person. Hopefully you stick around. Hopefully it's not that long. So while um, I'm just gonna spray some of the finishing cream. Uh, I don't have the cleaner on me properly, so just a few sprays, you know. Get uh, all in these crevices. This is the shining cream. I mean, it doesn't do too much. It just cleans it. It's all really some smearing, but that dries up. Gotta get the horn. Gotta get up here. Because this, this part takes a beating a lot. Look at that. 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 Mother of Pearl up a phone. I don't... I, that's metal. I shouldn't really use that to clean that. But whatever. We'll do it. The one gripe I have about these cleaners. Like I said, they're idiot proof. So Gibson, if you're watching this, you're probably not watching this. Because you don't watch little... YouTubers like me. Either way, it, can you like redesign your metal cleaning or your cleaning kit, please? Thank you. Uh, make it easier on, you know, the idiots of the world, such as myself, who uh, are dumb. Look at you, son of a Oh, what in the... F Am I supposed to shake this before I use it? The fuck was that? Does this have an expiration date? Play in small amounts. I don't think I'm supposed to shake it. But I just did. I don't care. Now it smells like Elmer's glue in here. Okay. Get that spread around. Perfect. Let's start with the bridge. I don't know if you can see, like, you can see, definitely see it. Like, all the rust type spots. It's pretty much the sweat built up. Uh, I don't. So just go in there and get it. See, it, it cleaned up a little bit. See, it cleaned up a little bit. Now, this, these bits, these bits are the difficult bits. Just go through like that. This is probably the wrong way of doing this. I'm well aware, so feel free to tell me how you do it in the comment section. Because, frankly, I do everything wrong. It smells like Elmer's glue, and it is the most disgusting scent I've ever smelled. Eating Elmer's glue is amazing. Fucking smelling it, not so much. All right. Anywho, that's... Okay. Go up here, get, get the tuners. Get get the original tuners. Gotta get them. See if that all that sweat, those years of sweat, comes off. No, it does not. Uh, good thing I don't really use these tuners. Hmm. Oh, well. Okay, next bit before I do a jump cut, which I'm more than likely to have to do a jump cut. Uh, and I'm not gonna tune the guitar on camera. I just got string in the mouth. I'm not gonna tune the, the guitar on camera because I, I 
I gotta fine tune it, and that's gonna take too much time. And I feel like this video is already long enough, so let's just dive into what I need to do, and let's do this. All right, all right. <laughs> there are gonna be people all over the YouTubes telling you you gotta cut off this end before you stick it in your Floyd Rose system or Kaler system, depending on your Kaler. Uh, but that is wrong. You don't have to. And I'm going to show you why I don't, because that saves me way too much time. <laughs> Just insert it like so. Line it up with your hoe. And then, um, boom. Stick that down in there. Hold on. You fucking peasant. And it sits right in there. Boom. And then, what you want to do, if I can do this properly... I usually put my finger right over the block, lift my bridge up, and then tighten. I am loosening, because I'm an idiot. Boom! Like so. She snug. Oh, and if you're a beginning, a beginner who wants a floyd rose guitar i do not recommend it because there are so many different ways to tune it like i showed you earlier the black things that's the primary way of turning tuning a floyd rose system but uh i don't recommend it because they are very difficult if you don't know what you're doing sure there's tips and stuff all over youtube on how to do it but to just go with traditional first learn that then if you want a challenge pick up a guitar with a Floyd Rose. I do recommend one if you know what you're doing. So yeah, I'm going to put all these strings on and I'll see you in like 20 minutes. I realized what I forgot to tell you on setting strings up. I, I'll show you. Involves these. Now you gotta set your locking nuts down on the correct string. Don't tighten them. There is a specific way to do it. I don't do it correctly every time, so I mean, it's whatever though. Uh, but yeah, you gotta get them lined up properly. Tune them, to, uh, lock them down, such as these. Get your fucking ass. Hold up. It really helps. That's not even in. Wow. Uh. Okay, whatever. Stop fighting me. Oh my god. You whore! There. Just get in nice and snug with your finger. You're not bad YouTuber. Um, yeah, just get him. Just like that. Uh, that way you can pull your strings through and... Get them in. Everything should look like that. Sorry about the mess, but. Yeah, pretty much you just do this. I'm gonna have to do this both handed. This is usually the time where I get slapped in the face. Okay. Good, 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 good. Nope, wrong way. All right, the G string is the most difficult string because I have a locking tuner, which means it stays in tune primary majority of the time. Well, it stays in tune all the time, except when you break a string. But traditional Les Pauls, such as my Boneyard and uh, Blue, uh, they don't have that type of feature, so the G-string, there is a specific way to do that, and I can show you as soon as I'm done doing it.
Okay, I had this going, as you can tell on this, this one, this one the, it's going down. Traditionally, like this one, this one's a prime example. You can see it going underneath the hole. For the G string from, oh, focus, 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 hocus, pocus, focus. There we go. Nope. Nope. There. Uh, it's above the hole. Pretty much for the G string, for most uh, three by three headstocks, um, you want the G string uh, string to go a little up over your hole, but not over the peg. If that makes sense, I can. Uh, blue blues is kind of difficult to see, but it make it once you see it on some like on YouTube or something, it makes sense. It helps keep it in tune longer than traditional ways. Okay, back to doing this bullshit. Hey, I ran into a slight problem. My E string. I'm gonna have to open a new pack just to rip out the E string to put it on this one. Which I am not happy about. Reason. I fucked up. And I wanted to show you the final product. But I can't fucking do that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna clip these. the excess strings accordingly. And then I am going to deal with this nightmare. And hopefully, 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 I get it fixed. Cause I'm irritated. I can show you what I mean. That kind of got, um, unwound. It kind of got unwound. It broke. It, oh, and it snapped. Oh, that's just fucking lovely. So now I really have to... You fucking whore. See what I mean by getting a Floyd Rose system is not a good idea? I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to... I, ha I don't even use these tuners to keep it in tune. But... It kind of is annoying. So I'm, I'm gonna try something else. Cause I don't wanna open a new pack. I really do not wanna open a new pack. So, um, do I have pliers anywhere? I probably do in my toolbox, or tool bag, but I'm not. Gonna open that. All right, use these tweezers. Will not even work. That won't even fucking work. Fuck. All right, new idea. Um, shit. Hold up. So I decided I'm not gonna fix that. No, I'm going to fix this. That means I have to open a new pack. Which isn't a big deal. At all. Uh, that just means I've got to remind myself for the next time what I need to buy. Fun! Buy a Floyd Rose, they said. It'll be fun, they said. You can dive bomb like crazy, they said. Oh, don't worry about tuning it. Stringing it's going to be super fun and exciting and it's a learning experience for the intermediate player. Kiss my nuts. Just kiss them. Full blown kiss them, bad boys. I'll keep them clean, keep them shaven. Get on. Thank you. Whore. You big fucking whore.
Now I can see why no one watches my videos. I am very vulgar. I get very frustrated very easily. Okay. Let's try this shit again. Fuck. Okay. Now. Oh my god. The, the whammy book. I want to be sure I got this right. Okay. Cancer patient wielding bitch. Is that right? Good. Boom! This is what your final product should be. Boom. Nice. Not in tune, but like I said, I'm doing that later. I hope you guys enjoyed this garbage video of my way of how I... <sighs> of my way of doing my Beloyed Rose bridge, my FRX bridge. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's not very entertaining, but I guess it's a glimpse into what you can get if you get a surface-mounted uh, Floyd Rose system, which are very difficult to obtain because they are so little... There's so many... Wait, no. Let me word this properly. There's so little of them, and they are extremely expensive. I don't want to tell you... I don't think I told you how expensive that fucker is. Especially the gold one. This is the gold... Like, it's gold, so it was... Not worth it. Black one would look better, but I wanted to go with the old Black Beauty vibe. I do need to get some gold tuners, some black pickup rings, maybe some poker chips and shit. Anywho, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry about this garbage video again. Uh, I mean, if you like the video, give it a like. Do, do all that fun jazz uh, YouTuber stuff. I don't know. I don't care. I do care, but at the time, I'm just tired, I'm exhausted, I'm frustrated, and at the moment, I am just, I want to go to bed, and, yeah, I'll, I'll worry about all this later. So, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I don't know what that is, uh, hopefully it's not too late, but, um, I'm not going to say too much, but I do have something special coming up in July. Uh, I don't know if this sp certain person said anything about it, but I have a special video. Or special plans, and it's going to consist of stupidity beyond recognition. And I'm going to continue a taser series that I started and never finished because nobody... None of my friends want to go taser tag with me. I mean, I've asked a few friends. None of them want to do it. Biggest reasons, their girlfriends won't let them do it or their wives won't let them do it, which I understand. I wish I was married. God damn it. Anywho, that's my problem, not yours. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!